Marjorie Taylor Greene used the death count from the hijacked 9-11 Flight 93 to minimize the risk of shooting down the Chinese spy balloon over land. And the crowd goes completely silent. You have to see this. This is stunning, stunning stuff. Marjorie Taylor Greene and a bunch of right wingers initially went after Joe Biden by saying he's not going to have the testicular fortitude. That's my word, not theirs to shoot down the Chinese surveillance balloon. As we know, Joe Biden eventually shot down the Chinese surveillance balloon. And so Republicans had to shift their tone, shift their message. Some of them shifted to who cares? Any president would have done it. But Marjorie Taylor Greene is shifting to he didn't need to wait for the balloon to go over water before shooting it down. That was a sissy move. He should have shot it down over land. And as proof as to how benign that is, think back to 9-11. Remember when there was that crash? I mean, even describing it as a crash when there was that crash, nobody. I mean, yes, everybody on the plane died, but nobody on the ground died. It is so quiet as Marjorie Taylor Greene says these disgusting things in this room. The crowd was all jazzed up up until this point. It goes so quiet that if somebody dropped a pin, you would be able to hear it. Take a look at this. Finally leaves the coast and then, oh, they shot it down. The excuses that were given on this were pathetic, absolutely pathetic. They told us it was too risky. Oh, it was too risky to shoot down the Chinese spy balloon. Do you know what a bunch of bull that is? Yeah. They said it's three school buses. Three school buses wide. Okay. Well, do you guys remember on 9 11 when an airplane crashed in Pennsylvania? A jetliner. Remember that? Oof. It didn't kill anybody on the ground, killed everyone on board, but it didn't kill. Silence. Instantly silence. But anyone on the ground. So they want to tell all of us that it was too risky to take down that Chinese spy balloon over rural Idaho or Montana or any of these other states or Alaska. Anyway, quite a bold analogy to be making. But in the service of attacking any decision made by Joe Biden, anything is fair game for people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, a disgusting person. Usually I say a disgusting woman and someone wrote to me and said, David, sir, might you be a misogynist? Because if a man does something disgusting, you say what a disgusting person. But when Marjorie Taylor Greene does something disgusting, you say what a disgusting woman. I don't know. Should I say disgusting person? She's definitely both. As far as we all know, she's a woman uh, in the in the in the valiant battle against trans wokists. Marjorie Taylor Greene has drawn that line in the sand. She is a woman. Should I say she's a disgusting person or a disgusting woman? Let me know. But disgusting certainly fits the bill. Absolutely no tragedy she is unwilling to use to her perceived advantage. We will have all of these clips on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the David Pakman show. And we will also have these clips in Spanish now on the Spanish YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at symbol David Pakman. Espanol. I know you're it's like, isn't it Espanol? But you can't in a URL have the thing over the end. So it's David Pakman Espanol for the Spanish channel. It's crazy, I know, but check it out. Email services by big tech companies scan every single email you send and receive. Emails from your doctor, your spouse. That's why you get those creepy ads a few minutes later. And other companies collect your data every time you open an email from them. It's a huge mess. All of this information gets sold around. They can piece together where you've been, who you know, what you like, and it's out there forever. That's why I recommend start mail. Start mail never collects data from your emails. It blocks the trackers embedded in the emails that you receive. Start mail lets you encrypt any email you send, even if the recipient doesn't use encryption, keeping your messages safe from prying eyes. Start mail never shows you ads. And unlike other services, when you delete an email, it's gone forever. And I love this part. You can create unlimited email aliases so you don't have to give companies your real email address, which can really cut down on spam. You can seamlessly migrate 
your emails and contacts from Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo and others. It's really easy. Start taking your privacy seriously by signing up for Start Mail. You'll get 50 percent off your first year subscription. Go to startmail.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.